want supercharged productivity, the most powerful pre-made nootropic stack on the planet, get the Cortex stack at livecortex.com. We made this stack for people that want to be productive, people that want verbal fluency, people that want motivation and drive, and people that just want to get stuff done. 31 bucks right now at livecortex.com. If you need my help on custom stack formulation to help you to get the most surgical results from nootropics, we have three different consulting packages, which you can find at livecortex.com. And if you're a man and need to raise testosterone, get your libido back, get your sex drive back, get your masculinity, get your confidence back. We've got the most powerful testosterone raising protocol on the web. If you want the most information dense, stack filled, exciting, nootropic scores that'll really allow you to ascend to higher echelons to the master class and take a nootropics get the nootropics master class live now at livecortex.com and all of these products to include our digital books and courses on nootropics and biohacking you can find at the homepage at livecortex.com be productive get supercharged get stuff done what's up everybody Troy Ryan thanks so much for being with me and sticking with me through the promotion one super awesome thing, what you're looking at here is how to perfect your nootropic stacks fast. It's a digital book that I wrote that's downloadable. You can get it today. It's actually available. We just wanted to surprise folks with it. Um, the thing is sick. You know, three, four years into my nootropic experimentation, I kind of just realized, look, I I've got to figure out a framework to be stacking this stuff. I'm not getting consistent results. I'm running into side effects. Stacks will work one day and they won't work another day. It's taken me two weeks to adjust this act. Like, I've got to figure this out, man, because I'm wasting a lot of money, wasting a lot of time, wasting money on powders. Um, and so I started a framework around, yeah, it was about eight years ago. I've refined that framework over time, and that's essentially the basis for how I formulate stacks and then adjust stacks and then perfect nootropic stacks. We lay it out in how to perfect your nootropic stacks fast. It is a very to the point guide on how to get you to stop treading water and to actually get the brain performance you want from nootropics. Uh, get that at livecortex.com. It is live right now. Go download it, go read it. It is awesome. All right. So, uh, you know, I was reading through some of the nootropics forums on the web and a question came up that I think is really interesting that I want to discuss with you guys uh, that goes, how many of you got into this because you were sick or ill, okay? So I want to discuss this because this, this is a, um, you know, for a lot of folks, a big reason why they're getting into nootropics and why they why they end up on nootropics, but like they started on adrenal biohacking or something or thyroid biohacking or, or gut biohacking and then ended up on nootropics because all this stuff is related to brain performance. When you have any of those conditions, your brain doesn't function well. Um, my personal start into nootropics wasn't because like I was sick or something, um, it, but some of the later things that got me into other elements of biohacking were, like when I had adrenal fatigue, that got me into, into such more complex, deeper levels of serotonin function, adrenal steroid production, the adrenal cortex it's, itself, uh, other related interconnected mechanisms and all that. I got into nootropics because I, was, I don't know, a year or so, fresh out of the army, fresh out of Iraq. I started meditating because I was, I don't want to say depressed, but I was like super, uh, I don't know, I was just like mad at the world and, and I don't know, I just, I wasn't a happy dude. Meditation led me to neuroscience, which led me to how can I optimize myself further with chemicals, which led me to nootropics. But a lot of people do get into nootropics because they're suffering from some sort of fatigue syndrome. Uh, they're suffering from lipopolysaccharide invasion in their in their blood brain barrier and in their brain from bad gut bacteria in their small intestine and or large intestine, right? So they get into nootropics to try to figure out how to alleviate that uh, brain fog. A lot of people get into nootropics because they are suffering from brain fog because kind of their diets are wrong. And then they get into nootropics, start experimenting. Oh, this is cool. I'm getting results. Takes them further into biohacking. People start learning about their bodies. And I don't say doing away completely with the medical establishment, but getting to a point where you know they under they can distinguish between advice they should take from their doctor in terms of prescriptions and advice they should take or they should uh, strategies they should formulate by looking at anecdotals and doing their own research and actually getting into this the studies that this these doctors are reading or not reading <laughs> in some cases. And so, um, what I think this does 
you know, yes. Yeah, so the answer is, I mean, a lot of people get into nootropics because they were sick or ill. You know, any any of those things that I that I just sort of talked about. Um, and, and there's more people with ADD, people with uh, MS have gotten to nootropics for brain performance. There's so much. What I think it's cool, how I think it's cool, why I think it's cool, is because what it does is it gets people to educate themselves about their body, right? These days, because of the internet and because of this whole biohacking movement, you have people that are on the web that 10 years ago would not understand mechanistically what's wrong with their brain after an SSRI or SNRI or after taking any of the benzodiazepines, anything that's in the class of, of benzodiazepine and how that's fussed with their GABA signaling and how they can, how can, how they can recover it. Um, how in a, a, adrenal hormone insufficiency, as an example, docs are notoriously like a general physician pretty bad at diagnosing you with anything. They might be like, oh yeah, 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 your blood sodium's a little low, blood chloride's a little low. You know, eh, I don't know, drink some water, stop drinking coffee and you know, take a Motrin, <laughs> be on your way, you know? Um, but that kind of stuff is what makes people go, dude, I have symptoms, I have problems, I, I know this is real, it's not depression, I'm not making it up. I wanna go research it, people figure it out, learn the biology of it, and then heal themselves. And that is awesome. Not relying on the medical establishment for everything, because they're good for certain things, is really awesome. So yes, a lot of people get into this because they're sick or ill, and I think it's just opening up more people that are learning about their body, and that is a good thing. Thanks so much for watching. Hope that's been useful. That was an awesome question. Remember guys, just launched how to perfect your nootropic stacks now. It is the culmination of 12 years of experience. It has such awesome framework for formulating stacks, sampling stacks, analyzing your results. This is my process. Resampling the stack, getting the stack perfect. Stop treading water. Go buy the book, How to Perfect Your Nootropic Stacks Fast livecortex.com. Thanks so much for watching. And all of these products to include our digital books and courses on nootropics and biohacking, you can find at the homepage at livecortex.com. Be productive, get supercharged, get stuff done.